What's up guys? This is the Brave One and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off about last time, um, we spent a good long time upgrading our economy. We took out Azerbaijan, which turns out was the last Persian city as they gave Kabul away to the French. And then following on from that, the Austrians have declared war on us. The first army, that just, our first fight, was a resounding victory for our forces, which is an army we redeployed from Tbilisi over to the east. So what we probably want to do is move these guys close to Istanbul. Let's maybe stop recruiting here, just so we can get a bit more of a balance on what it is you want to actually build this army into. So we've got this already, and that's good, but we're probably going to lose these Fellaini. Or at least they're going to be moved to another theatre. And we're also, oh yeah, we're also upgrading our navy. But we've not done actually much naval upgrading. We could probably actually build a... Build a galley in one of my trade ports and... Can I even build a... Where do I get my light galleys from? Oh, fishing ports. Well, that's probably going to be a Jebek. Or a sloop is probably cheaper. Oh, they're all cheap. They all cost the same, but a sloop is the cheapest. So I'm going to build a sloop here. Get it down to Bandarabas to act as a shipyard. Shipyard Guardian. Yep, here come the British. <laughs> here come the Austrians again. So we are going to need lots of spending in the, on the Istanbul front. Because it looks like they're trying to broadly... Um, rebuild the forces that got smashed. The Poles are going to take out Crimea, which is not great. Hmm. Nevertheless, we shall defeat them and push them back, but it will mean a solid expansion in the Balkans regions. So I'm going to want to spend 4,000 upgrading my other university in order to keep my advancements from my research quick, um, nice and high and fast. The pirates thankfully devour our colonial enemies in the Americas. Should they push to Ist on to Istanbul, they should probably die. If these guys hit this port, that's big because it's worth a good amount of money to us. So we're probably going to attack them. Firstly, let's upgrade this university here. Yeah, this guy, these guys are going to really start to create PR problems. But Synop, wherever it grows, I'm going to turn into a happiness building to help offset the, the impact of having such a massive... Um, a massive destabilizing influence. Okay, so someone's recycling outside. Can't really do anything about that. Um, so, you're upgrading your barracks. Here comes the Royal Mamluk Guard. It's one of our new cavalry units, although. This looks much like, much very similar to our Mamelukes that we can get anyway. Two turns to the next level. Port is built. I'm told organ guns are quite fun, but they're quite short range. Elite infantry. That's what we start to need, really. Probably going to build some... So Sekban Janissaries do have a... What do they have? Pistols or something? Sword and pistol, yes. They're more than pretty much melee infantry. Uh, we can get some of these light infantry. So these riflemen. Um, because Ankara's got most of our military building upgrades. We probably have to do more of this filtering of troops across, which means you probably could do with building roads to help expedite 
the maneuver of troops. At some point we have to upgrade the naval board as well. Nope, you don't research that. Konya, Konya, you crack on with. Spinning mules help increase our industry wealth. So I think realistically the best thing we want to do is spend the money, spend a bunch of money on replenishing this army. Send these guys west to go take out Mr. Winkleman. They probably want to build... Yeah, great Arsenal would be useful. Probably going to do that. And then let's also get some... Get a unit of, two units of Grenadiers. They're also going to be pushed over west. So here's our sloop. There we go. So let's get them into band... Oh no, hold on. There we go. Get him over to Bandar Abbas. So, what's happening? Austria is pushing into Central Europe. Prussia still exists. Poland, uh, the Swedes are doing what the Swedes do. The United Provinces are pushing down. They may even knock out France. The Poles are getting squeezed because they're losing territory to the Ottomans. But we do want to take you out. Actually, I'm tempted to just auto that. No, let's fight it because I can't lose. I need to minimise losses to men and material. Lest I suffer a serious, <laughs> a serious problem in the next few turns. We want to minimise our recruitment burden. Oh, lovely. This is a, this is a great position so because we need them to march well because we want to minimize losses I'm probably just gonna let them march into us rather than rather than risk sending my melee troops into a messy combat See, there is a feature here that stops us deploying out quite so easily. I could move the line forward, but meh. Let's boil my cover on the flanks. Jump in the centre. Let's fold. Let's fold the uh, fold the corners in. position let's push our, push my general out there as well hit their pikemen there's their general's bodyguard if they want to try anything they're going to run into our camel nomads they do have some regulars as well take him out if they don't get shot by a bunch of by a volley from our feline musketeers no because one guy's left behind hit them with our camels because he's done goofed yep try and charge if you like but my camels have got you let's kill this slimy austrian pig i thought that was him to be honest that we just killed No, it was probably... I don't know, actually. I thought the general's units disappeared. Yep, the pikes have fell. Fallen to our artillery. my normal musketmen do the job. They're not necessarily the best, but they are. Oh man! 
good shot of those gunners. Oh my target, oh my infantry target, that central unit. Oh no, pikes are wavering. Leave them alone. Fire well off. Keep pounding them with artillery. Good, they're actually trying to retreat through my camels, which is nice. I could probably do with fighting this on a slightly faster speed. Run, camels. Run, general. Don't let yourself get shot down by a unit of line infantry at max range. Good lads. Good, the pike's charging towards my line, which is what I want. Or I can use my regular musketry to just make them break. The general's lying in wait. Yeah, you go after the pikes. Let's turn off the cannons. And let's get my cavalry charging on. So it does mean... There they are. Let's smash into the irregulars, Mon General. There goes the enemy general for a horrible second. I thought that was ours. There you go. Absolutely continue. teach these Austrian dogs to invade our lands, although those Irregulars didn't even fight in their routing. You 28 men, you tell your comrades what happened here today. You tell them what happened. Yes, you. Now you try tell me. An auto resolve wouldn't have done that. <laughs> it would have got a ratio like that. Lovely. That Pandau unit's the only unit that survived. Delicious. I think the, the only thing I could do now is just hit end turn. Because all these raids and stuff we've dealt with, those are our agents keeping an eye on our other borders. So let's hit in turn and see how the enemy replies. I had intended on spending a bit more time upgrading my economy. I think Britain are going to go take Iceland. That's part of the reason why I didn't want to spend too much money up there. Because it's too exposed. It's not anywhere I can realistically support. Which if anything might mean it's probably good to trade it away with the United Provinces for trade but if I do that it means that whatever British army that's currently embarked will still sail and attack me somewhere probably so at least if I let the AI have Iceland it will think haha I'm doing the right thing so obviously those Brits are a lovely target which will be hit in due course Okay, let's upgrade the buildings in Istanbul to maximise the military production 
in this particular territory. We can finally spend some money rebuilding this building in Georgia. Let's take these guys out of the city. Put Yaravan under siege. Could probably do with some money yourself. We've got some tech advances. So we've got flintlock cannon. Which is good. We definitely do need to build and upgrade the naval board. To keep us researching naval techs at a good speed. Agent executed. Ah, oh, they found him in Russia. Just long enough, though, to get a good view of their whole territory. And there, is, there are no hidden armies waiting. Not yet, anyway. Go on in, Ori. Let's take you men out as well. Ideally, the main army I'm fighting will swap out troops with those being recruited in Istanbul. Swap out the Feline from Boris Aurelis, that kind of thing. And then the second tier, quote unquote, force that's left over, they will be. I'll send them west to help defend the approaches towards Greece. It's raining, which is not ideal, but it's not a deal breaker. Then again, our army is significantly larger than the enemy's, so. Okay, let's put my Feline out, out on the f wider flank because I can support them better over here. Let's give them the Bashis for support. My Israeli could start down here in the mud. I'd be supported by my, my Feline and my Bashis. My Semnies are probably going to deploy in front of my guns who are going to trundle forward a little bit. Trundle them forward like that. Hey, looks like they're sending their cavalry over onto the my left. It's not a bad thing. Got a bunch of guys with swords ready to meet their make their acquaintance. You guys up, push my cavalry out wide. It's on a run, my Seminis. So I can get my guns unlimbered. We're probably going to do a lot of pushing on this flank because they formed a bit of a defensive line behind these walls. So my fellow Ian are going to do quite a lot of good work. run my Israelis up. Yep, they are charging. So let's hunker you guys down in square formation. You guys halt. Fire it will off. My, me my melee infantry can continue advancing. Okay, looks like infantry may be about to try and push. So you might want to do something like this. Okay, you guys provide frontline support. Partially against the Marines, but also... Oh, I mean, I did accidentally target the General there. But let's push up to relieve the burden, because right now it's a lot of focus on the Seminis. Although it looks like they've fallen back in response. So this is just a unit of militia. Being picked out by our Seminis, our very... Fairly elite Seminis. Fairly elite. 
They're actually sh they're more accurate than my feline musketeers. by ranks are starting to pop off now. So let's keep the cover out here to bait them into an infantry attack. Okay, let's commit to getting the, cam the camels in. Go after the general. And these gunners have paid a savage price. Let's get my melee infantry. winning. So you go after them, you go after... Go after the, one, the last remaining gunner unit. There goes the enemy general. Come on, more general. Not my general, my Delhi cavalry. Come on, nomads, charge onwards into the guns. So Bashis charge into this third regiment of foot. Something like you two guys join them. Let's pivot you guys so you don't fire into the combat. Let me, let me, generals, generals, bodyguards can come back. Soundberg's being funny again. Just continue to send my horses to charge down the enemy forces. Let's retarget artillery against this unit of marines. So these men to charge down the marines. The Marines are a bit of a priority target. Let's break them down. Let's pivot these guys, this cavalry back. And smash into the flank of these Marines, they're fresh. Let's bring the Feline in to support. Let's bring my General in. Yeah, these guys will... I guess my risk is of souls. But cavalry support will certainly help. Let's turn off the artillery. And let's bring forward my general. Cavalry continue to chase down the Marines. You continue to chase down the Marines and you chase down a unit of Marines. Did lose some risks of souls to that maneuver. Oh, that's the artillery crew. You chase down the enemy regiment of foot.
There's only three men left of this unit, which is great. Good enough. Everyone hit this last unit. Hey, they're dead. Now it's everyone against this regiment of foot. So there's a couple of guys over here that might cause problems. Oh, See, so they're going to be reduced to one guy left. Damn. Still, that's pretty good. That force that's been sat there for a while now has been just gutted. Sweet. So we sent all the spent all the money we can. Yeah, I'd like to bring this guy over here. Swap out his units to make a better full stack army and go hit Bulgaria, while the leftovers can come back here and protect this port. Done some buildings. Okay. Let's hit end turn. There go the British. <laughs> At least it keeps them occupied. Wow, looks like they might be sending a whole... Okay. My army needs to go west again to secure that port. That's probably going to be quite a big economic hit. If anything, it looks like that army may end up staying to the west and I have to build up a new army from scratch in Istanbul. Which isn't the end of the world. It'll just take a bit of time. Because it looks like the Austrians are... Oh god, the Venetians are good. Whew. Thought they were coming our way. It looks like they're landing and taking Tunis. And it looks like the defenders in Yerevan are coming to attack us. But looking at the timer, that would put us way over the limit. So, what I'm going to say is, because this has been a pretty battle-heavy episode as it is, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for one of the, one of the final sallies from Georgian forces. Cheers, everyone.